Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to return data back from a screen. So I've already showed you how to send data. As we did here, we sent this string. You can send as many variables as you want. You're basically invoking the constructor. And depending on which button you click, you'll either say Batman in the title or Superman. But what if you want to send data back from the screen? You know, we can do that as well. So to do that, in the main dot, in the main dot. Actually, let's handle the second page first. So to actually do it, all you have to do is put comma and then send your data back. That's literally all you have to do. You just send one piece of data, it could be an array or something, or I mean like a list or something, for example, and you could pass that in the first page if you need multiple pieces. I'm just gonna send you know, welcome back. That's all I'm going to say. So then obviously this could be based on other conditions as well. That's totally up to you. In here at the moment, this won't do anything. So what we need to do is a couple of things. First of all, we need to create a global key. This will be a key for our scaffold. We're gonna use that to display a snack bar. That's optional for this video, simply because if you don't want a snack bar, you could just store in the variable and print it out into the console. But I think this looks quite good. So I'm gonna say scaffold state, I'm gonna score scaffold equals new. Actually, we don't need new, we can just put global key, global key, scaffold state. Okay, that's the wrong way around. Yeah, that's it, forgot the brackets and I messed up there. So we need to apply this as a key to the scaffold. So we just put key. This is basically allows us to refer to it later on. We're gonna refer to it in a way that allows us to show a snack bot. So now what we need to do is when we actually you know click this right here, we are going to create a separate method. And I'm gonna abstract it as I'm gonna say go to second page. And in here, we're going to have a build context. We're going to have going to be asynchronous. And inside of here, we're going to have a final result, which is basically what that you know value is going to be assigned to that being returned. Wait, navigator dot push. So this part of the code is basically the same. It is just context, material, page root. And we put context here. We put the arrow operator and we put second page or whatever your page is actually called. And I need to add this as well. So I'm just going to do the Batman one for now. And what I'm going to want you to do, and uh, we don't need a semicolon there, we need it here. Okay, so what I want you to do, because I'm only going to you know, do it for this one essentially this implementation I want you to do it so you can pass in essentially a variable into this method and then that get, gets passed through next we are going to say underscore scaffold and here is basically where we will launch the snap bar so we're going to say underscore scaffold dot current state dot show snap bar and here is where we basically need to show our, you know, pretty darn awesome snack bar. So we just do snack bar. So we're going to create a new one in here. We need the context. So for this, we're just going to put text. And to actually get this inside of here, we just put quotations. Then we put dollar result, semicolon. And that's it. Okay, so now what we need to do, if we go down here, we can get rid of all this navigator.push. And all we want to do is go to second page, pass in the context. I feel like we're all done now. So let's save it. Make sure it's all, yeah, it's all saved. Now if I click Batman, click go back, welcome back. There we go. And that's it. Whereas if I was to click Superman and go back, it doesn't do it because Superman, Superman button has a direct navigator that push. It doesn't invoke the go to second page method. So that's what I want you to do is make this the same as this, but both of these need to pass in a variable. So you need an extra variable here, which is what is passed through. So that way you can actually pass data in still. 
but but let's say you pass data back if you don't want to do a snap bar you can essentially replace this with you know assigning the value you got from here to a another variable in the class that you can access anywhere else but simple stuff really if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video